many people read the book of Hebrews? You know, um, you ever heard that? It was like a real bad uh, coffee joke, you know. Uh, uh, what what type of drink did uh, Moses drink? Hebrews. Ah, coffee. Ah, Hebrews. So, but that's besides the point. That's that's one of those pastor jokes where, you know, one person laughs in the pew. And I was like, ha that person likes pastor too much. Um, it's fun times. But you have Hebrews 9, 11 through 15. Hebrews is filled with sacrificial language, temple language. And then you get Jesus entering into the Holy of Holies, not with the blood of goats and rams and bulls, but he enters with his own blood. Because you see in the sacrificial system, when you read Leviticus and Exodus and Deuteronomy, they're, they're killing animals all the time and spilling blood everywhere all the time. But with Jesus, it's not a continual act that has to happen all the time. It's something that happens once on the cross, Jesus gave up everything for you. On the cross, Jesus entered the holy presence of his Father, not as the sinless Son of God, but as the sinner. You and me, he entered into the presence with his own blood and said, this is for them. This is for all that they may be forgiven. And on the cross did Jesus make the blood sacrifice once and for all, that all may be at one with the Father. And he cried out, it is finished. There's no more blood need to be spilled. You don't have to sacrifice. You don't have to give that blood. Christ has given all of it. He's given all that you may be the father's child forever. He's done it. It's finished. You're forgiven. That's what Lent's all about. That's what Good Friday's all about. That's what the Holy Vigil's all about. That's what Easter Sunday's all about. That's what Christmas is all about. That's what Trinity Seven's all about. That's what the Jesima, Septua, Sexa, and Quinqua are all about. That's what they're all about, is Jesus has done it for you. And all you need is to be forgiven, to have that declaration, the reckoning of righteousness, literally being covered in the blood of Jesus, robed in his righteousness, the covers all your sins. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time.